Get ready with me, elf edition, because why not? I just woke up this morning and I was like, you know what? I want to film a get ready with me, but why not like just suddenly become an elf? Why? Why not? Why? Why not? <laughs> Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a sit down, get ready with me chatty video where I kind of talk about everything that's been going on in my life lately because I have kind of stepped a little bit away from YouTube more so than I would have liked to. Also, I've completely stepped away from streaming because so much has been going on and I just want to update you guys on everything that's been happening as well as like my mindset, how I'm coping with my own thoughts and then also just do like a casual like makeup tutorial but elf. Themed. Definitely keep on watching if you want to see what kind of makeup look I do today. It is going to be a little bit of that Duyin style makeup, that Chinese uh, beauty influencer style, because that is kind of what I do all the time now, like on the day to day. And then also just kind of get to know me a little bit better, get to know what's been going on in my life, get to know my thoughts, how I feel, how we can all be a little more happier perhaps, and just like every, like we're going to be talking about a lot of things. So, Let's start. My skin is really, really good. Um, I've been doing a lot <laughs> to maintain good skin and I'm going to give you a preview on two new products that I'm going to be introducing to Glow Atelier, which is my skincare store. One of the major things that I've been doing recently is I've been working on a huge, massive pivot on my skincare store. One of my secrets to getting really clear, good skin is using home IPL devices and not using them for hair removal. No, using them for anti-aging, clearing up hyperpigmentation spots and all that. So this, this will be coming to Glow Atelier really, really soon, hopefully within the next few weeks. If you want to be the first to get your hands on the early access launch, definitely subscribe to the newsletter in the description box down below. I'm gonna have a massive early access launch release that is going to be exclusively for everyone on the email list. So join that email list if you wanna get a chance to get your hands on this first before everyone else. So I just did a quick IPL session just on my cheeks, just to give you guys a demo on what exactly this product is. This is a dual hair removal device, but also IPL is used in skin clinics and has been used in skin clinics for a long time to zap away sun damage, zap away hyperpigmentation spots, zap away acne scars. It also stimulates collagen in the skin and it also helps to prevent and fade fine lines and wrinkles. I've actually been using IPL on my face for a really, really long time. For the longest time, I was using the Rose Skin Co. IPL hair removal device. And to be honest, like that device works, but it's really not like that powerful. And in fact, you guys saw, if you watched my Rose Skin Co. review videos, you would have seen that I like had a difficult time getting the results that were to be anticipated with that product. And I had to use it way longer than I should have just to see like any hair removal. It was good, but it wasn't amazing. So over the past, several months I have been sourcing a good at-home IPL device that is still safe for the skin and that actually is catered towards more so skincare use instead of hair removal and I finally sourced the perfect one for Glow Atelier. It has a cooling feature so when you use it on the skin your skin maintains a cool temperature which is essential for good skin and honestly it's made my skin like I've been using it for the past few months testing it out demoing it to know if it's perfect for Glow Atelier and it is this is how I've got gotten like super clear, super good skin, uh, reduced pore sizes as well, and how I've gotten all types of acne under control because IPL, that impulse light, fries acne causing bacteria. I am obsessed with it. Like, I have not washed my face yet today, so I'm gonna be using my Nasific Phytoneosin Essence. It's a niacinamide intensive toner for the skin that helps control oil, brighten the skin and refine pores without being drying. Because it doesn't have any acids in it, it's safe to use over the eyes as well, which I 
really really enjoy if you're wondering where i got this wig from i got it on amazon like a year ago over a year ago for one of my cosplay shoots that i did i haven't worn it since then also the elf ears i got on amazon as well it's not a very good wig it's like it's not very good <laughs> but it's cute no i always do my chest as well i've also been using the ipl device on my chest and my neck as well because like i don't want to be one of those people with a super old wrinkly looking chest and i feel like from all my tanning before I was like, when I was like really young in high school, <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm on the track for that. So we're trying to reverse th that damage, that UV damage. Next, I'm gonna be going in with my Nasific Phytoneosin Serum. So it's the same thing as the toner, just a concentrated version. So it's really good if you have like an oilier skin type or if you struggle with blackheads or if you want those brightening, illuminating benefits of niacinamide. So yeah, Glow Atelier, is making a lot of changes and it's been a little bit difficult because with that we've been trying i've been trying to get rid of all of our original stock because we're kind of pivoting away from being so much a korean skincare boutique and becoming our own brand and then after we see how being our own brand goes i will decide if i want to bring in other korean skincare products or not it's kind of like a really major huge testing period for me and the store and it's been it's been a lot of work i've been working on this since june so <laughs> it's been a few months that i've been doing this whole pivoting thing and it's been crazy stressful but with that it's like brought out all the new products that we're going to be launching so i'm really excited about that but i'm so nervous you guys like i've always wanted to have my own skincare line i've never known where to start and this has been like a crazy learning experience to moisturize my skin i'm just going to be going in with a small amount of my nasific fresh herb origin cream i'm using like all nasific products today unintentional not not on purpose but this is just a really nice herbal cream that has a lot of restoring and repairing properties without being crazy heavy on the skin. And it also fights acne and is anti-aging as well. You guys are always, like, you guys are always complimenting me on my skin, especially on my, like, my Instagram reels. You guys are always, always saying my skin is so good. This, this literally is why I take so much care of my skin. And if any of you remember watching my old YouTube videos from like five, six years ago, I struggled with acne like even then. Like I used to have really bad acne. But over the years of becoming a skincare specialist, I've learned so much and I've gained so much as well in terms of my skin. For my base makeup today, I'm gonna to be going in with my Numbenzine number one Pure Glass Clean Tone Up SPF. It's an illuminating tinted SPF. It's a little brightening for me to use on the day to day, like it's pretty white. But because we're doing this e.l.f. look, I figured it's the perfect time to do it. It's the perfect time to do it. Let's just be extra light today. It's always like the weirdest thing when I do my makeup and skincare without a mirror. Like, why do I do this to myself? Anyway, I also want to talk about some other things that I've been doing. This is like a huge, like, what I've been doing all summer life update video <laughs> while, while we become an elf. So aside from Glow Atelier and creating new, like my first ever skincare product, which I actually have in front of me right here. I'm just gonna like flash it to you guys cause I'm gonna blur it out so you can't quite see what it is yet. But again, if you sign up for that email list, you will get the first access to purchase it before anyone else when it's launched. Here it is right here. I designed everything myself. I formulated it myself. It's been a huge work in progress and I'm so excited to launch it to you guys. It probably will be another two months at least, I think, until it's live. Just because like everything takes time, right? The, the manufacturing of the bottles takes time. Literally filling the bottles with the product takes time. Creating all the content takes time so it will still be a little bit before it's launched but definitely within the next few months before black friday for sure i think or maybe by black friday it will be out i have no idea so aside <laughs> aside from creating my own skincare product and getting other official glow atelier products on 
the store, which has been so much work that I'm so excited for. I've also been creating another mini, couple mini like side projects. One of them is one that Honey Boy, my boyfriend, has been pushing me to do since October, 2021. And it officially went up yesterday on Amazon. He's been wanting me for so long to create cat pajamas. <laughs> so if any of you guys watched my vlog channel, or was that? Was that in the vlogs on this channel? I don't know, but before turning this channel right here that you're watching into a lifestyle channel, I had my vlogs on a separate account. And back in October, 2021, Mr. Flynn, my sweet boy, needed emergency surgery because he ate something he shouldn't have. And of course he couldn't pass it. It was killing him. Like he was really, really ill. And he ended up having to being directed to be in a cone for about four weeks and around the two week mark of him being in his cone he was like super depressed like he was like lethargic he was like not really wanting to do anything not really wanting to eat he was just clearly really depressed and it was just so hard to see our little kitty boy like that especially when he usually is such a chaotic high energy crazy cat like he's insane and so i found these like dog pajamas at a pet store that I custom sewed to fit our cat better and ever since then like he loved them he was like he didn't need to wear a cone anymore to stop him from licking his incision after his surgery was able to like run around if he wanted he could just live his life normally again while he was still like recovering from his surgery and one thing that we noticed in those additional two weeks of him wearing his pajamas is that he became so sweet and well behaved when he was in them so even though he would still run around and play and do as he would freely it's like having his pajamas on almost took away his anxiety and made him like made him more docile and made him like lovey-dovey i'm just using my usual blush <laughs> from innis free the number three one like i for like two years of having the first two years oh that's a lot <laughs> for like the first two years of having Flynn, like I didn't sleep because like every single night at 3, 4 a.m. He would like go to the bathroom, make like a number two and get really, really like zoomy. But he would like literally throw himself on my body. Like the amount of times he's like ricocheted over my head onto the headboard and landed on top of me. And like the breaking moment for me was when he did that and landed on my face while I was sleeping. I was like, you know what? Like pajama time like i need to sleep you can't be doing this like i'm so sleep deprived like i for two years i was so sleep deprived i consistently had an eye twitch consistently like i was so sleep deprived and the funny thing is is that he only ever did this stuff to me and not to honey boy <laughs> I'm like why me why anyway so honey boy has been pushing me to do this project since since then like since october 2021 i'm just using my becca shimmering skin perfector in moonstone which is a discontinued brand uh no longer exists so sad but yeah he's been pushing me to do this since then and over the summertime i said you know what like screw it let's just do it so i custom designed and planned out <laughs> these pajamas right in here i'll insert a clip so you guys can see and now they're on amazon they're on Amazon officially as of like yesterday. I just hope that this kind of, these pajamas will not only be super, super cute and unique because they're custom designed and it's like an aesthetic pattern. In my opinion, it's aesthetic. But also I hope that it will help other cat owners and cats when they when they have a surgery and they need to like have freedom and not be in a cone and also to help cats that have anxiety like Flynn and get like really, really nervous because it helps calm him down. He gets sweet, he, he feels safe in his PJs. And so many people when I first, when I'm just using my e.l.f. contouring palette in the, I don't even know, assorted. I'm just going to be mixing literally all the colors except for the white. I hope that it will help other kitties like Flynn that need it for surgery or need it to help with their anxiety and stress and stressful situations and to help other kitty owners who have crazy cats know that it's bedtime and that it's time to calm down for the night. Like literally when Flynn's in his pajamas, he sleeps throughout the night entirely. It's so amazing. I sleep, I sleep, we all sleep again. <laughs> 
and he he loves his pjs like and so many people when i first started putting pjs on and sharing it on instagram like a year ago were telling me like that's cruel you shouldn't do that like cats need to be free and the funny thing is is like flynn likes it and more often than not like he doesn't want out of his pjs in the morning like he will verbally tell me when he wants out of his pjs like he'll just start going like mm, like he'll you'll you know your cats right and you know when your cats are demanding something of you but when he's ready to be out of his pjs he tells me usually i take them off without him telling me but like sometimes i can tell he wants to stay in his pjs and so i let him i'm like if that's what you want like you're sleepy you're cozy you're tired okay so stay in your pjs anyway like it's been a godsend and one of my one of my other youtube friends messaged me today because i shared it on my instagram stories last night for the first time and one of my other youtube friends messaged me saying oh my gosh they have to put their cat in a harness every night so that she sleeps and like her some of her followers were saying the same thing like that it's cruel to do that and i'm like not really like if the cat doesn't mind it and if the cat becomes like purry like flynn literally purrs and makes biscuits when he's in his pajamas like he loves them like it's comforting for him i don't necessarily see an issue with that <laughs> like it means they're enjoying it means they're comfortable it means they're happy anyway that's one of the projects i've been working on i'm just gonna take this new eyebrow pencil that i got in shade number three it's from the japanese brand heroin make uh it's okay i would probably buy it again i'm a bit undecided right now so that was like a whole learning curve because like obviously we're selling it on amazon exclusively uh just because i don't have the capacity <laughs> that was literally the only way that i was like okay honey boy i will do this project but the only way i have the capacity to do it is if it's like on amazon in a set it and leave it thing because running glow telly a is a lot of work every single day and i'm so grateful and i love it but it's building a brand and building a business and as one person like i really need an assistant but i just don't i don't have the we can't afford it just yet when i finally can it's gonna make a huge world of difference because for the longest like for this whole past year that glow atelier has been in business it's just been me <laughs> And it's a lot for one person. So it's been like a massive learning curve and I love it. I'm so grateful, but yeah, an assistant would definitely help. Um, so the cat pajamas line is by Neko Pan. I wanted it to be like Japanese themed because like everything that I saw online for like cat pajamas just was just so like generic looking. And I'm like, I want something that's like a little bit of a like japanese aesthetic like i kind of want to like at some like if the <laughs> if these pajamas do well on amazon i want to make more i'm just using the heavy rotation coloring eyebrow it's another japanese brand in a04 it's a japanese eyebrow mascara and it's a light lightening color anyway if these go well if this first pattern does well i want to create like the pa like i designed everything myself it's not like i purchased a pre-made design like it is designed by me like i literally went in photoshop and created the design if that goes well then i will create more and i want them to kind of be like somewhat kimono themed like japanese kimono ish esque patterns but a little more like for everyone so like have that inspiration from like japanese kimono patterns but make it like more for everybody i'm going to be taking that same eyebrow pencil from before and i'm just going to create an egg cell on my eye but it's only going to be on the outer part because i don't need it on the inner part like i naturally have egg cell but i don't on the outer part of my eye so it's kind of creating like extending what i already have i actually really love this for doing this kind of thing it's really good i like to extend it a little bit far out to where my eyeliner would go i'm really into trimming my eyebrows again like i haven't been into trimming my eyebrows since like before i moved to south like literally 10 years ago <laughs> but i'm getting into it again because like i'm blonde again and i hate dyeing my eyebrows like i feel like it looks so ridiculous on me but Trimming them kind of lightens them without having to go through the whole like bleaching your eyebrows process. I'm gonna be taking this Too Faced palette and I'm going to go with, because this is kind of like a whitish pink wig, I don't even know if the camera can pick up the pink in it, but we're gonna go with like a super pinky. <laughs> we're literally gonna do the makeup I do all the time. <laughs> so we're just gonna do like a pinky whatever. I'm gonna take this like dusted rose shade right here and just put it like everywhere. So speaking of like Japan related stuff, 
I am starting to take my Japanese learning lessons more seriously. I am trying to self-teach myself first with actual like lesson material like booklets, Duolingo, and then like once I'm comfortable enough to like understand some stuff on my own, I want to hire, want to hire a Japanese tutor because getting into the topic of like finding happiness and being like more happy since moving to actually since the pandemic i started to realize like i was trying to fool myself into wanting a life that i didn't actually want and didn't actually speak to my soul and when i moved out of japan and when i went to australia and like my life kind of fell apart in australia i convinced myself <laughs> and or more accurately was trying to convince myself that the answer to being happy, I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit. But I was trying to convince myself that the answer to my like happiness and being happy was to, you know, slow down, was to find a secure nine to five job and to just like live in one city. And then, and then instead of living in these places that I love, such as Japan and Asia, was to just travel there frequently. But in the pandemic, I kind of was woken up to the fact that that is that's not the answer like when i was living in toronto it was like the pandemic that made me realize all the things about toronto was a distraction and then when all those distractions of living in the city were taken away from me i was left bare with just my just me being in home and just me and that was such a wake-up call to realizing like this life isn't it because when you take away all the distractions and you're alone in your home, you realize like you learn so much about yourself and what you actually value. And that made me admit that I was masking. <laughs> I was masking what I actually wanted and what actually made me happy. And what actually made me happy was living in the place and being in the place that I always wanted to live in since I was like 13, 12 years old. I'm just gonna be taking my Sailor Moon Color Pop palette and I'm gonna be going in with the sparkly pink shade right there with my finger because it works way better with your finger. Like, look at all that glitz. But I was just like, oh, none of this makes me happy. I'm just like covering up the real, the real desire here. And the real desire is living in the place I've always wanted to live in and just being there. And I've talked about this before with you guys and you guys all know like, oh my gosh, like Bronwyn just wants to be in Japan. All Bronwyn talks about is wanting to be in Japan, like obviously. <laughs> what really amplified that, so even though it was like pandemic, I still had the distraction of living in a city and I was like, okay, I can at least like, I can go out to a degree if I want. There's people around me, like there's stuff. I'm just taking, <laughs> I'm taking my one size cosmetics uh, eye popper in the shade Pea House. I'm obsessed with this and I'm just going to put a little dollop of glitter right on that like outer corner to make it kind of look like my eyes are watery and then we're just gonna dollop a little bit where we already put that glitter just because it has bigger flecks of sparkle so it makes it a little more like like boom you know going back into that Sailor Moon palette I'm taking that same pink gold shimmery color I'm just gonna be using that on my inner inner corners as well, but with a brush because my fingers don't fit in this small space. What really like was the next step in self-realization for me was when we moved to Texas. And as you guys know, this is not somewhere I ever saw myself moving to. It's not somewhere I ever wanted to live. But when you're in a long-term relationship, you do what you have to do to like, you support your partner, right? And this move was because my partner's job took him here. And of course, like, I'm not gonna just be like, okay, sayonara relationship, it's been swell. In a long term, like, we have a cat, we've been living together for four years, like, this is not like a casual relationship. So I'm not gonna be like, hey, see ya, thanks for the time, like, no, right? So moving here was a family, a family thing. And doing that, it was kind of, I feel like it was this step, I'm just taking my Nude by Nature cold pencil in the shade Espresso. It's like a really nice blending ball pencil. It's really soft and smooth. And I'm just creating like a fat straight wing, extending it out pretty far. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit right on that inner waterline, upper lash line, but not across the whole eye. 
But doing this move was kind of the next big step and big push I needed to really understand how much, like when you take me out of the city and you put me into like, like I'm alone pretty much every single day, like Honey Boy's back in office and I'm like work from home myself. And being alone and being isolated in my own house without any distractions was like a major self-realization moment into better seeing how much this isn't it. You know, like this, this is not it. This is not me. This is not where I want to be in life. This is not it at all. And back in June, I had a really deep conversation with my friend Rachel and I always love when Rachel and I hang out because <laughs> because Rachel and I are two very similar people. We were kind of brainstorming and this is a separate video I want to do with you guys. Oh, I'm all out of this eyeliner. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, it's so dry. Let's see if we can get at least a little bit. And I was brainstorming with my friend Rachel about like what is like she was telling me how she wants to do like a what is it like a a goal board anyway it's like it's like one of those scrapbooking boards and you put like your goals and aspirations on it and i don't know but for me the idea of setting goals and like a five-year plan is way too much pressure because like literally your life can change so dramatically even in the span of three months and the idea of having a five-year plan i feel like sets up such a precedence for failure and it sets up like anxiety and it sets up like so many expectations of yourself that a lot of things in life are out of your control. Since being in Texas, like one of the things that I, before we moved here, I discovered there's like, there's like this astrology, <laughs> there's like this astrology website and it tells you, like it tells you your astro astrological lines on the earth based on your planets and the time you were born and everything where these lines land on the earth and what those like planets mean and what those lines mean can say a lot about places in the world where you're either meant to be or not meant to be and for the places that you are meant to be it tells you like what you can expect based on what planet line is in that area of the world i'll insert a graph like a picture of like my astrological travel world map here and then other than that i have nothing in like north america and the only other line hits like through texas <laughs> when i hover over and when i click that line it tells me like if i go to those places and if i travel to those places that is where i will like something will happen and for texas it says that is where i'll reconnect with traditional values kind of like who you are at a core we understand the values in like your life and i was like holy crap and ever since i came to texas like i've been rediscovering like what does it mean to be happy and when I was talking to my friend Rachel about like this goal setting board and this inspirational board, I was thinking to myself, because I've been on this kind of self journey to finding happiness and reconnecting with my inner child, I was like, what if instead it was, of it being like a goals and manifestation board, it was like a, a path to happiness board and what you put on there is everything like photos and images of every aspect in your life where you felt happiness. And then when you collect it all together, you visually have a representation of what is happiness for you. I'm a genius. I know, I know you're thinking it. Yes, I am a genius. Yes, I should write a book. <laughs> well, this wig is so heavy, it's like falling off. So I was like, holy crap, I need to do this. So I wanna make a video about this. I just need to go buy magazines because I keep forgetting to do it. I even have the canvas and everything for it. But essentially that's something I really wanna do because ever since I have been living in Texas, I've been really focusing, like unintentionally been focusing because I have so much time and I'm alone and I like, I literally am isolated in this house every single day. I don't have a car, like Texas and the US, like all, all Western countries, specifically like North America, is a very car dependent society unless you live in the core of a city, a major city. And when I was in Toronto, I was in the core of a Canadian major city, but Austin, Texas is, I wouldn't consider it a major, major city. Like it doesn't really have much public transit at all. Like it has one train line and it doesn't really go any, like really too many places and it's not super accessible. And I also live in suburbia <laughs> without a car. So I am isolated heavily 
and uh, that's not gonna change unless I get a car, unfortunately. Like I've been here for six months, it's not gonna change. I'm just using my uh, Majolka Majorca mascara, but since I've been here, I've had so much time to be by myself without distraction. And when you're by yourself without distraction, you really learn a lot about who you are at a core. And one thing I noticed is that like throughout these six months of being in Texas and being in this state, this state of mind is that I am really trying my best to reconnect with my inner child because my inner child is happiness. Like your inner child was, was naive. Your, your inner child was ignorant of the world. And as we all know, ignorance is bliss. So what made you happy in your youth? What made you happy when you were younger? And the answer for me was creating and creating content that I wanted to create. <laughs> Dressing up, like fantasizing about moving to Japan. Like I've been fantasizing about life in Japan since I was 12 years old. Actually, I think it started when I was 11 when I first saw like the memoirs of a geisha like movie. It was either grade five or grade six and it was like my first cultural like lesson and we had to do a project where we picked a culture and did like whatever on it. And I picked Japan, I don't know, probably because of Sailor Moon or something. And I was reading through the books and I remember learning about geisha and the whole like like culture of that and I thought it was so amazing and beautiful and then the memoirs of a geisha movie came out and I was like that was I was sold on Japan like life in Japan sold like that's it just gonna be doing my lips now I'm gonna be taking my cold pencil again and I'm gonna be creating like a long lip look so some of you guys comment occasionally and say you like how long my mouth is it's kind of a weird thing to comment but like I understand what you're saying it's because of this style of makeup it's kind of like a vampire look I don't know I suit these kind of like these, this I suit this look I don't know but inner child Bronwyn all she ever wanted and all she, like I remember being like like 13 and google mapping like Japan and I remember it was before like Google Maps had like our street view feature and you could just like hover over an area and see the satellite view and I remember doing that and just dreaming and telling my parents like I'm gonna live in Japan when I'm older like I'm gonna move like that's that's where I'm gonna live <laughs> and it's like all like with the pandemic this is my La a Mac uh, lip liner in spice like ever since then like my roadmap to life has been like aspiring to like live there the pandemic and moving to texas and being in this current life situation has i've been stripped of distractions i've been stripped and i've been left bare this sounds so lewd <laughs> i've been left bare with myself and my own thoughts there's nothing like being by yourself in your own thoughts to rediscover who you are and it's hard and it's dark it's a dark place it's me you know it's me and so with that said i am studying japanese again because i've come to the conclusion that no matter what i need to return and each time i return it needs to be like a it needs to be like a month or more at a time and i know some of you guys have asked me like well honey boy and i move there the answer is no at this time because his job will not that's impossible it's not possible for him to live in japan with his job uh in the future who knows maybe so that is why like a lot of people are like oh b you can go back to japan now i'm just using this estee lauder lip gloss that's like a sample in plum jealousy just in the center of my lips but i want to do like the maximum three month stay or i want to like that it's that or um, one thing that I realized and discovered over the- Whoa, this is like the worst wig ever. I know, I know you guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> one thing I recently discovered is that um, there is a business entrepreneur visa that you can get. The only thing like, so I'm a business owner. It's a visa that I potentially can get and it allows you to establish your business in Japan. Um, and you can stay like one year, five years long-term, like it's a long-term visa. But the only catch is that you need to have, like to even get the visa, you need to have a capital. So like business capital, whether it be in like business loans, cash in the bank, 30, like high 30K to like 40K USD. And I'm like, <gasps> Okay, we're not that profitable yet, but it's definitely possible as a business. Maybe I can just swindle some, you know, you know, some investments. 
invest in me <laughs> anyway so that is it's either i go on the standard visitor visa otherwise that is my second option if i want to do long-term stays which is like kind of the idea like the idea of like living in japan is really hard when you have a partner that isn't able to do it so easily so <laughs> i want to do either the visitor thing or like establish my business in japan so either of those are going to happen so i am learning japanese again because that's what i'm working towards now i'm trying my hardest hopefully glow atelier or my cat pajama brand can be profitable enough to fund this to give me capital enough to establish my businesses in japan otherwise it will be the three month visitor visa the return to japan is going to happen because this this isn't it like i am so grateful i'm so grateful for everything i have i'm so grateful for honey boy my life that i have my cats the fact that i'm in a house alone is like outstanding but at the end of the day this isn't it and what what child like my inner child screams for is to be in japan so i need to hustle and grind to make it happen anyway you guys that is it for this get ready with me elf inspired video chatty get ready with me video i hope you guys enjoyed watching it i hope you enjoyed catching up with everything that's been going on since the summer started for me it has been a crazy few months but so much is happening i'm so excited for my new glow atelier product launches <laughs> i'm so excited for the cat pajamas i am so excited for you know working towards finding happiness and being a happier person overall and paying more attention to my inner child and what my inner child would have wanted and stop trying to fit into like a category of what an adult life should look like because that's not the answer as i say this dressed up as like a literal elf but anyway return to japan is the end goal thank you guys so much for watching subscribe to see more lifestyle day in the life videos occasionally we do makeup tutorials like this and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.